the voice of Tiana says that the Princess and the Frog Splash Mountain will open in 2024. Disney says absolutely nothing. No confirmation, no word from them. Universal did confirm that the Mario Kart ride would open at the beginning of 2023 out in Hollywood, though. We'll get to both of those stories and more. I'm your host, Brian Perry. Episode 101 of Inside 300 starts... Ahora. Away we go. We start off with the relatively surprising news that I would take with a grain of salt. The highly publicized transformation of Splash Mountain into a Princess and the Frog retheme will apparently open in 2024, at least according to the voice of Tiana, Anika Nani Rose. She appeared on the ABC broadcast of Live with Kelly and Ryan and had this to say. And they're making, a, are they making a ride? They are Disney? making a ride. It'll be out in 2024. So what, what do you know about the so ride? So will you get to be involved in all of that? I've been involved in the beginning, just talking about how we want it to be, mm-hmm. what we want it to do. But if I were to tell you anything else, I would be sucked into the ground and you'd never see me again. Understood. <laughs> Got yes. it. Now, honestly, it seemed to me more like something that Rose accidentally slipped and in no way was confirmed by Disney. In fact, I would be floored if it actually opened in two years. Think about this, Splash Mountain is still operating as normal and Disney has yet to even announce when it would go down to begin the refurbishment. The closest thing we have in recent memory to a complete transformation of an already established ride would be Epcot's Maelstrom turning into Frozen Ever After. Maelstrom closed after one month's warning In October of 2014, Frozen Ever After kept 99% of the track and simply replaced the surrounding areas. That took almost two years on its own as the updated version of the ride opened in the summer of 2016. Frozen Ever After, of course, is less than half the size of Splash Mountain, so considering just the sheer size and effort that's going to go into taking everything out of Splash, tells me an opening date of 2024 seems a little soon. Either way, I'm just curious on if some Disney execs fainted when Rose made mention of the opening date on live television. Johnny Depp won his defamation suit against Amber Heard this week in what many are calling the biggest celebrity trial since OJ. What the W means for Mr. Captain Jack Sparrow is that Amber owes the actor over $10 million in damages for essentially ruining his career via the op-ed she wrote in the Washington Post. Disney, of course, essentially fired Depp after making Pirates 5 due to the op-ed, despite originally having plans for the actor in Pirates 6. Now with Depp winning, many are looking at Disney for an apology of sorts and a reinstating into the franchise, though Depp famously stated this during the case. Mr. Depp, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film. That is true, Mr. Roddenborn. And by the way, if you want to know more about what it was like to go to the actual Johnny Depp trial, we did it and we sat in the gallery, so be sure to click the link in the description below where we dive into the uh, bizarre eye-opening experience. Universal Studios Hollywood will open its brand new area titled Super Nintendo World in early 2023. Incorporated in the new land will be the new Mario, just kidding, Mario Kart, Bowser's Challenge Attraction, a ride that combines real effects and movements with augmented reality. The ride already exists out in Japan, but the new stateside offering will be the first of its kind here in the U.S., Fans can expect to see the ride at Universal's upcoming third Floridian Park as well, Epic Universe. The timing of the 2023 land opening also coincides with the release of Universal's upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie, which honestly I completely forgot was going to be a thing. Chris Pratt and Charlie Day are set to voice Mario and Luigi. Jack Black will be the villainous Bowser. And Anya Taylor-Joy will take on Princess Peach. And finally, it's time for this day in Disney history. We go back 23 years to 1999, when the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh killed Mr. Toad's wild ride. Luckily, Disney thought of all those fans who would be furious and placed his grave outside the Haunted Mansion. This way, you diehard fans can pay your 
respects. How nice. That's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. So you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you next time. And as always, bye-bye.